All right, folks, so this is a product I get from Costco. This is Frantic. You know, I'm kind of curious. Anytime I see something new, I really want to try it out to see if they live up to standard. So this is from Frantic, and the name of this is S100 Apex Air Inflator. I think, I want to believe this is a rechargeable air inflator that you can use to inflate your tire, but the big deal right here is that even though I'm very sure it's going to be able to inflate my bike, but I want to be sure, can this actually inflate a car tire? That is what I want to test out today and see how true that is. This can inflate a car four to six times. So they were claiming that this is going to inflate your car tire four to six times, okay? Then this can do motorcycle, bike, if you have basketball or soccer ball, this can inflate it. That's all this can do, and that is a big claim. So if you care to know, this product is made in China. So this is the pump. It's a little bit big, and you have from the side here, that is the vent. So you have to outlet right here. The one with USB-A is going to be your output. That's going to output five volts or two amps. So which means you can charge your phone from here. But if you have any device that is taking five volts, and the next one is going to be where you charge this device, and that is taking USB-C, also five volts. So if you plug to the USB-C, you are charging it. If you plug to the USB-A, you are charging another device from this. Now, if we look at the top, this device actually comes in with a touch light built in. Now let's go through this, okay? This end is going to go up here and that's where you connect the hose, right there. You connect the hose and the other end goes to your tire for pumping. This is more like automatic air compressor pump. And um, I like the fact that it is built in like that and I'm going to go through all the specs for you to see. So. Like I say, you have the screen up here and these are the control buttons. If you press the middle and hold it down, it's going to turn it on. So when you look at the top, that will give you your battery indicator at the top right there. The following number you are looking at right here is reading 000, right? That 00 is going to remain zero until you plug this to whatever you want to pump. When you plug this to whatever you want to pump, that is going to be counting, okay? Or probably maybe your tire has been inflated already, but you want to know the amount of air in your tire. You can plug this and that zero up air is going to change and read exactly what you have. That will reveal the exact PSI. But also, it's going to be a real time counting. If you're pumping your tire, that zero zero is going to be keep counting until it will reach your target uh, number, okay, target PSI. And that takes me to the next one, which is the one that is reading 36. You see that 36 is going to be your target. Let's assume I want to pump my tire 32. I will change that number. So whatever number you set there is your target. So when you're pumping your car or your tire, when you read the target, it will stop. Okay? That is the function of that. Um, when you look at the side right there, you have your PSI, okay? That is like the unit. You, some use PSI in America. PSI is common in America, so that's PSI. You can change it to whatever you're using in your country, but here we use PSI, so it's gonna be on PSI. And um, most car, we go from 30 PSI all the way to 40 PSI, okay? Depend on your car manufacturer. They go from 30 to 40 PSI. In my own case, my tire is using 33 PSI. That is according to the manufacturer. My car tire is 33 PSI for the all four, okay? So if I want to set my target on this one, I'll just press the plus or minus button here to switch to 33. So if I just press this, it will switch to 33. Now I'm on 33. Or you can move up like so and change to any number you like. So the plus or minus button is where you change your target. Okay, in my own case, it's going to be 
33. So I'll put it on 33 PSI. So anytime I plug it to pump, it's going to stop when you get to 33 PSI, okay? There's a button here, this button. It is called cycle button. And in this, that button is very interested, right? It is called cycle button in the sense that when you press that button, it switches the cycle, okay? If you go to pump your car tire, you press that cycle to switch to car. So if you see what I have here now, right here, you can see that I have up here, that's a car logo. If I press again, it's going to change to a motorbike. The next is going to be bicycle. And the next is going to be ball. Press that cycle to switch. If you're going to pump your car, you press and make sure it's showing car. If you're going to pump your bike, press it to bike. And if you're going to do bicycle, press it to bicycle. Or if you're going to pump your ball or basketball, pump it to ball before you make that move, OK? That is the function of that. And like I said, the last button here, that is going to be your light if you need it. So what I'm going to do is to attach the cable. So make sure the cable is attached all the way. Once you have your cable attached, so you have these two adapter. This silver one is going to be for your ball. If you need to pump your ball, you have to attach this to this so that you'll be able to pump your ball. Maybe if this is not going to fit your car or your bike, then you can attach this black one to it. So either this or this will fit anything you want to pump, all right? So we're going to go and see if this is going to be able to pump my car, all right? All right, guys, so I'm going to try this on the bike. So this is attached already now. So we're going to see what we have here. Can you imagine? We have, um, let me switch to bike. So to bicycle, we have um, 6 PSI, all right? So I'll press this, and it's going to pump. As this thing is pumping, you see this is counting. The number is going up, OK? When you are done, you can press this to stop it on your own. This is 30 PSI. I think this thing is good and the battery is here all the way up. So I'm going to go and try with my car, all right? Okay, so now that I have tested this out, the next thing now is to give my vinyl review and from there you can draw your own conclusion if this is right for you, all right? So, as you can see in the video, I did inflate my tire with this. I did my bicycle and I did my car four tires. So, if you look at the video where I was, you know, putting air in the tire, you could see the LED here on this thing. Let me turn it on. You see like the LED is flickering, right? That is not the case. I think it's the camera. I use my cell phone to record that part. So the flicky thing is not real. Really, it's just the lens from the camera, okay? From my cell phone, I mean. So the, as you can see on this, the LED is stable. It's not flicking. I just want to point that out, okay, please. Um, after I did inflate my car tire, the four of them, um, I did that intentionally by not charging this device when I first got it. I took it out of the box and I used it without charging it. The normal thing for you to do is to recharge, make sure it's 100% before you use it. But I did that not to recharge because initially, even though you recharge this, if you do not have need for it, it's going to be stored. Probably you store it in your car. And you may not use it for probably maybe a couple of months. And when the time comes for you to use it, is it still going to hold up? That is the reason why I decided not to charge it before I use it. Just to create that scenario that this is already fully charged. I stored it in my car for like maybe one, two, three months. If the need arises at that time, 
can I still rely on this device that it will inflate my tire? And for that reason, I decided not to charge it and it worked fine. At least after inflating the four tire and my bicycle, I still have one bar left. Okay? So, at that being said, I can easily tell you that if you charge this 100% and you have it in your car for like a month, you're still going to have use for it if the need arise. There will be no need to charge. But I would recommend that keep eye on it and be sure that just keep eye, keep eye on it should in case you're going to need it so that this will not be 0% flat. All right? I was able to inflate four tires, four car tires, and um, the lowest out of the four, my, my gauge or my set, my set target is 33. That's what my car manufacturer uh, recommended. 33 for the 04 tire. Some we have different for the front and for the back, but in the case of this particular car, it's 33 PSI. So I set the target to 33 PSI and I set the cycle to car. The default setting, like I said, on this thing, if you put it to car, it's going to be 36. But I have to reduce it to 33 to meet what my car manufacturer recommend, okay? So that being said, after putting it to 33, I have different um, um, PSI in all of the tire. I think the lowest is like a 24. That is the lowest, and that is the one that trigger my... Uh, the on the dashboard it triggered the light you know like the inflation light on the dashboard that my car my tire is low so that is the lowest 24 so this thing pump it back to 33 then I have another one like like 5 psi low another one like 3 psi low okay so that is the variation and without charging this right from the box I was able to inflate them and I still have one bar left. And that is the worst scenario you may find yourself. There's no occasion where you're going to have your four tire, all of the four tire deflated, no. At least maybe one or two that you will need to pump. And if that is the case, this is going to serve you, okay? Secondly, this thing gets really hot. And I don't want to say it's a bad thing for this device because the weather is really hot. The weather, when I was doing the testing, this thing was staying in the sun for like maybe eight minutes or more. So it's really hot after you, I finish using it. It's really hot to touch. Not that you will not be able to hold it, but when you hold it, you will feel the oddness that this thing is hot. Even the oath is hot right here where it's joined together like con the connection high, when you hold it, it's really hot. So be aware of that, but I'm not gonna say that is a bad thing. It's very hot that very day when I was doing the testing. It's really hot. It's over 90 degree. That's really hot. So, as that being said, you have these two sides where this thing dispenses it, okay? And that's a good thing that it dispenses it. But I can tell you that it's going to get job done for you. If they are fully charged or half charged, even with one bar, you'll be able to get one tire up. Now that being said, let me point this out. This device may not, because I didn't test it like that. If your tire is fully deflated, let's assume you have a scenario where you have your car that has been on the lot for like months and the tire is fully deflated, this device may not be able to pump it back up. I'm not saying this cannot do it. Probably this may do it. It may take a lot of time to pump it up, but don't rely on that to happen, okay? But if it happened, good. Another thing I want to point out is that the connection after you connect it, the reading is really accurate. I'm going to point that out. It's really accurate. Now, I want to point out one thing that you need to bear in mind, and that is the longevity of this. I don't know how long this will last. For what I can see right now, the build quality is good. As that being said, the casing is not aluminum, it's not metal, it's pure plastic. 
It may need extra care when you are handling it so that this thing do not drop from your hand. It's a very nice plastic, but it's not going to hold if you drop it. If you want to know if I recommend this for you, if you're a lady or if you're a guy and you need something for emergency, I think this will be a good device to have because you don't have to plug this to your cigar lighter or your battery before you cooperate this thing. All you need to do is be sure it's 100% charged. If this thing is charged, you'll be good to go. So for the price, I would say that it's a good buy and you should have one of these in your car. I have no affiliation with this company. Like you know me, it's not sponsored video. This is something I bought with my money and I feel like to share with you guys so that you can benefit. If you are picking one up, I'm going to put the link in the description box below. If you're a Costco member, you may save more by buying from Costco. That may save you more because I got this from Costco and I think I saved like $10 or so on this one. So if you're a Costco member, you can check it out if it's something you are interested in. For the price, you should have one of these in. If you have more than one car, get two of these, put one in your car, okay? For the price, it's good. I like the fact that you can just set your target and you're good to go. You have the one that is set for car, you have preset for motorbike, you have preset for regular bicycle, or you have preset for ball, like for um, soccer ball or, or basketball. The preset is there, okay? So just be aware if you are going to inflate anything, be sure if it's a car, just change the preset to a car, okay? Just, just be sure of that and you'll be good to go. Like I said, this thing is plastic. Don't drop it. And um, that's everything about this device. As that being said, I'm going to be doing another review from this same company again about another product that they have in the market, which I also get from Costco, is the electric screwdriver. I also want to do that to show you guys if it's something that is any good. If you don't want to miss out on that video, uh, if you're interested in it, I will encourage you to subscribe. If you're here to be a subscriber, and press the notification button so that when I drop the video, you will be among the first to get notification, all right? If you get any value from this video, please do like it and share it so that others can see. That will really help a lot in keeping this channel going. And until next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.